five civil society organizations boycott 17th Republic Day celebration against drive of BJP government to pass CAB 2016 in Parliament. DDC claims hidden agenda to rope drivers behind construction of a way bridge on the Infalgiri Road, urges Chief Minister N. Biren to intervene and take actions. Senapati District with Drivers Welfare Union strongly condemns Hito Woods Wade Bridge project in Jiribam and Sekmai as harassment for drivers. And ninth anniversary observance of National Voters Day reminds all eligible citizens to exercise franchise in the upcoming Lok Sabha election. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Primetime in this news. I'm Kangsam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Insurgent groups of Manipur have been boycotting the Indian Republic Day celebration in the state for years. This year, five civil society organizations have also boycotted tomorrow's Republic Day celebrations. The five CSOs, namely United Committee Manipur UCM, All Manipur United Club Organization Amuko, Committee of Civil Societies Kangli Park CCSK, Itno Heritage Council Herikont, and League of Indigenous Peoples Upliftment Lipult resolved to boycott the 17th Republic Day celebration against efforts of the BJP government to pass Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 in the Raja Sabha after it was recently passed in the Lok Sabha. Speaking to media at UCM office in Lumfeld today, representatives of the five civil society organizations appealed to all the people of the state not to partake in any events related to Republic Day celebration but to carry out protests against the bill by chanting various slogans in demand for withdrawal of a CBA, CAB and against implementation of the bill in Northeast states, especially in Manipur. They further appeal to all the leaders of civil society organization of both hills and valley to attend the public meeting against the bill at the Sangai Hall of Hotel Infall on January 28. Indigenous people sing a chair, Mood Crow, Hyboga Chap Manava, Duma Bill Lamakani, North Eski Miam Chinga, Asuma Bill Sigi Mayota, Lepibam Toy, Hayen Pangto Kaduriba, Republic Day Ashe, Masi Akoi Boykot Toy, Miam Chinga Masi Saruk Yabiganu, Indiagi Republic Day Ashe. Yau bagi one talk lelak tapa lekai lekai dia lebih ribu lokal club mana papi individual pun ada mengna lambi dia thola akanda ke protest tau yo, ada koi slogan ane katang thamza nengi we draw citizen amendment bill we condemn India's Republic Day celebration in Manipur and the North East Sabha. Sigi slogan ane si tarokan miam nama kan makak kaya gi protest tau yo hebat si mak koi thamza nengi. Amat tu ina punsi nanti tapa yarak tapa degi si kum lup teruk si na inisiatif lau di lau raga lagi batang kunjung ni pan si da. Manipur dah lari, bah sing dah lari, biri bukan kamu sing, tam dah lari, bukan kamu sing sih. Lain nama invite orang agak, mampu sih dah lak biri, hari agak. Si bi sih, kita angsi kerja kari tu, sih kaya nak. Six student organizations, namely MSU, MSF, DESAM, KSA, SUK and AIMS have appealed to all the educational institutions of the state not to partake in the 17th Republic Day celebration. Speaking to media at MSU office, DM College campus today, MSU president and representative of the six student body said, it is senseless to celebrate Republic Day in the wake of the Citizenship Amendment Bill posing threat to natives of the North East states. He also declared that the student organization will forsake association with the government until the bill is completely withdrawn. Manjit condemned the state government for failing to take definite stance against the bill. He also criticized all the political parties in the state for trying to gain political mileage out of the issue instead of striving for resolutions. Mentioning that the identity of the North East state is not incorporated in the national anthem, Ramanjit appealed for public cooperation in fighting against the threatening bill. <laughs> Tuan-tuan bah, institusi ini ada kemanipur. Government kita makar dalam ini bah, 
department sing chu saruk ya bidana ba thamjari du lena apungoi na koi gi government ki education institute khuding mak koi gi saruk ya bidana ba du ga ha na ekhoi chat khiba koi gi phum lek cha ge ba mafam jing lai ra ga su ekhoi koi lamda ma se furu pasai mut khiba ma di hing ba ma di si ba ni gi asugum la ba wahang ma khak oi riba ekhoi gi lamda si gi yalong bi sing kan na bi nong ta ekhoi khuding mak isa ni sa gi yalong i furup sing su ngak cha na bi thau dang da long mi na se ba hum si thamjani Sibsenamar Pur State Unit team led by party president M Tombi will visit Delhi to hold talks with the prime minister the home minister and national leaders of Sibsena to prevent passing of citizenship amendment bill 2016 in Rajya Sabha Speaking to media at party office in Babupara today M Tombi termed the chief minister's assurance that the bill will not affect Manipur as misleading in view of union's home minister recent declaration that the bill will be effective nationwide once it is enacted into an act The party president also affirmed that Sib Sena Manipur State Unit will field candidates for both inner and outer parliamentary constituencies in the upcoming Lok Sabha election. He invited application from aspiring candidates for the election to get forms from the party office within February 16. Home minister Masamuna not only Assam entire India ki state punok de sanagani na harga Manipur ki sana loin na haibase masi masukum wahi wata sinaga praja sigda khoi ki nam thak to wa por si masi topi ro madu ki mahurta khoi leirba sarkar sina masi ki bill si sana ning na sala na posu na te aduga manu su sala halu he bisunga moi Northeast India Development Party (NEIDP) in a press release assured that the party stands against CAB 2016. NEIDP also said it has filed it has filed a case against the unconstitutional CAB 2016 in the Supreme Court for the welfare of Northeast natives. Chairman of Northeast Executive Council (GDU) NS. NS amd Senchumo Lota has informed that the party will field candidates from both inner and outer parliamentary constituencies in the upcoming Lok Sabha election. Speaking to media at the party office in New Chekon today, Senchumo Lota stated that he visited the state to hold meetings with the party, a unit to finalize party candidates for the upcoming election. Speaking on citizenship amendment bill, Senchumo Lota reiterated that JDU stands firm against the bill. He said party national leaders condemn the bill and will always stand against it both inside and outside the parliament. He asserted that though JDU is the national party, it will act according to the local interest and will strive for bringing great changes in North East states including Manipur. We will come to power in Manipur and we will transform Manipur as per our ideology which is empowering the people through zero tolerance to crime communalism and corruption the gdu decided to support in opposing this citizenship amendment bill because it talks about the identity of the people of northeast it does not affect mainland india but it affects directly the identity of the people of northeast it is regional interest therefore as i said we give utmost priority to the regional interest so we are like regional party in our own state but in delhi we are national party so the interest of manipur state whatever it may be will be the top priority in our agenda in our manifesto as we face the forthcoming parliamentary election The coordinating body Kurai in a press release warned of abiding the Manipur Constitution Act 1947 instead of the Indian Constitution if citizenship amendment bill 2016 is forcibly enforced in Manipur. Jomi Human Rights Foundation Chorjampur also demanded withdrawal of the bill. President of Transporter and Drivers Council TDC H Ranjit claimed that there is a hidden agenda to rob drivers behind the active involvement of the Transport Joint Director and the Transport Commissioner over construction of a way bridge on Infaljiri Road. He warned them to bear all the negative eventualities arising out of the way bridge issue. The TDC president also rejected the invitation of the transport department for holding dialogues regarding the matter. Speaking to media at TDC office in MG Avenue today, Ranjit asserted that the president present condition of the Infaljiri Road is made possible by the efforts put in by TDC and drivers of transporters along CSOs like UCM and Amoko who toil day and night to construct the Infaljiri Road since 2010. He mentioned that TDC and its elites will never accept some self-styled recently formed iron and cement seller and truck owners to harass drivers along the highway. 
Ranjit also refuted allegations of misleading drivers and transporters regarding the way bridge. He alleged some self-centric business, transport commissioner, transport joint director and SP Jiribam are plotting to earn extra income by constructing the way bridge. Extending food support for drivers, the TDC president urged them to abide by Central Motor Vehicle Act and assured that there is no need for a way bridge. Ranjit drew the attention of the chief minister to, uh, to take appropriate measures at the earliest. Hal jiri bam lambi asida mina satpa kinarava jungal gi kwari amagumna leram laba karamba driving nena karamba truck owner na shim gi haibado miyam punam angna khangna raba wapham ni 2014 da pokpa angna angna mana mama ma paada na kari thabak taurung gi haibak bhokak masak khang daba mama ma paada onkhat na takpa gi wapham leroi tak na nabu gi tanja asu piroi transport commissioner lakshmi kumar joint director bk sharma koi anina wait breeze gi matang da chin chung du na honari badu meirik pide gi majau bi olak tu na wathok oirak pa taar badi transport department na taina roi miwe ani khaktang si na hai ba si gi daikta puna mok pubi gada bani Senapati District Drivers Welfare Union strongly condemned highway transporters welfare organization Hitowu's way bridge project in Jiribam as a harassment for drivers along the highway. The Drivers Union also condemned Hitowu's upcoming Sekmai way bridge project. Speaking to media at North AOC today, President of Senapati District Drivers Welfare Union, D. Loco, stated that Hitowu's way bridge project is a means to ransack from the drivers. He appealed to the government to take necessary measures against the same. He also assured drivers of support by Senapati District Drivers Union and asserted that Hitowus cannot act on whims. The local also announced boycott in the hilly areas. Wait, please, I'm going to go to the driver's association. Manipur Drivers Welfare Association is going to go to the driver's association. I'm going to go to the driver's association. Gari kerumba accident thukpa kerumba kudung thiba lai raju Moi bu matin bang biwa thukte Moi ma minda di kharadit khangai adu bu Drabo khoi bu matin bang biwa shi lai te Adu na akhoi hill area da di Asi Manipur Drivers Welfare Association di akhoi baiko tok rani Manipur gamen da ju hai di Asi mai na drabo khoi bu harassment peer bu shi Khudak ta lep ta nawa gamen da ju hai jani ngi Member of People for Human Rights and Climate Change, Yu Zenison, alleged the Indian government are plotting to dominate people of the state by planting plights. He said the government destroyed forests and curved agricultural lands of the state to construct dams in the name of development to render insufficient production of foods to oppress the inhabitants. Janishan was speaking in a farmers' convention held on the team Right to Food and Impact of Climate Change at Namiamba Sangland in Palace Compound today. He said labeling of hills for development projects like road widening and railway lines is the major cause for environmental deterioration. Janishan also appealed to the people and farmers of the state not to let private companies and corporations along with the government monopolize circulation of food items in the state. Speaking on the occasion, ICAR principal scientist Dr. I. Megachandra stressed the need for an alternate sustainable farming method in the hilly areas. He espoused for integrated organic farming approach by rearing animals to utilize their waste as organic manures. Farmers, including those from hilly districts of Chorchampur, Ukru, Chandal, shared their droughts and floods related testimonies during the convention jointly organized by People for Human Rights and Climate Change and six other organizations while experts enlightened the farmers on pest control techniques, harmful effects of using fertilizers, etc. <laughs> ไม่ค่อยดีพอเดินไม่ค่อยดีพิเศษก็ไม่อยากจะเกี่ยวกับอะไรกันเลยเดี๋ยวมันคุณมองอะไรสักกิโลมองอะไรตาแล้วกิโ
Women's Welfare Association Murangam Pumakalikai warned to block in Fulton Seat Road if the road is not repaired by February 2nd. Speaking to media today, Secretary of the Association Hari Piyari stated that MLA Kurai El Susindro in initiated repair of the road. However, the work was halted due to objection by some individuals while digging Trent as part of the repair near Top Kuno of Ketugao constituency. Hari Piyari urged the government to repair the road without further delay. Hana Sarkana, Democracy, and Dogana Pig Rabba Dagdo, Adubhaugi, Manu, the court presidation, the Iko Hoziza, and Abamala, Maramaduna, Sarkana, Yaragadi, Masimari, and Abo, Horitina, Yangsan Biu, Zayana Riba, say, Yana Nabasin Biu, Kariguma Masidisha, Sarkana, Tabi, the Dana, Yangsan Bidaba, Zayana Riba, say, Yahan Bidragadi, Pewari, Tang, Ani, Gumadagi, Soroxi, Matam Kakana, Tins and Zaragani. State observed the ninth anniversary of National Voters Day on the team No Voter to be Left Behind at City Convention Center Palace Compound today. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Secretary Dr. J. Suresh Babu urged everyone to be wise in choosing the right candidates to maintain democracy of the country. He also stated that trading of votes for money is equivalent to giving up one's rights. Dr. Suris Babu stressed the need for proper electoral role to ensure fair election. He urged voters to check if their names are on the voter list and never to ignore their franchise. Taking part in the event, State CEO P.K. Singh IAS said voting for the upcoming Lok Sabha election will take place in 2,861 polling stations using VVPAT machines. He said photos or videos of unwanted events during the election may be reported on Android app Citizen Vision. P.K. Singh also said that one can contact helpline number 1950 for any election-related complaints, issues of voter registration and other related queries. We are all lucky to have been born in a democratic country. The significance and the importance of living in a liberated democratic society is only appreciated when you are imprisoned. The liberty that our constitution has granted to us, the freedom with which we all live is all one to the democratic setup that our forefathers have laid foundation. But how do we sustain this democracy? See, in the last 69 years of Republic India, we are one of the youngest democratic countries, but survived as a vibrant democratic country compared to many nations who started with a democracy ended in an autocratic role. Election Office Tawal also joined in the nationwide 9th National Voters Day celebration on the team No Voters to be Left Behind Today. The event was held in the election counting hall of Tawal DC Complex. Deputy DEO Tawal AC to DC Tawal Teresa Tangpua and SDO Tawal Bini Tangangbom gave resourceful insights on National Voters Day and stressed the need for eligible candidates to enroll their names on the voter list to exercise their franchise. DEO DC Tawal Hawam Rosita also distributed election photo identity cards to maiden voters on the occasion. Student winners of the district level pending competition held on the team are enrollment for vote, a step towards nation making on October 18th last year, were also facilitated on the occasion. District, Bisnupur District also joined in observing the 9th, 9th National Voters Day today. District Election Officer Bisnupur organized the event at Panchayat Resourceful Center Mini Secretariat Complex. DC Bisnupur Pawan Yadav, IAS, SDO Bisnupur Lalita Thambikai and SDO Nambol Chandam Bobo attended the program. Speaking in the event, SDO Bisnupur Lalita Thambigai appealed to all the eligible citizens to exercise their franchise and to choose the right representative. An interactive session on the role of voters during the election was also held during the program. Now it's time for activity room, cafeteria, where your dreams will get wings. UNAPO School, Maitro, excellence in education. Welcome back after the break of watching Prime Time English News. The annual election of Manipur University Students' Union Musu for 2019-20 was held at Manipur University campus today. 13 candidates contested for five Musu posts. Selection for class representatives of 35 departments of the university, catering to over 4,000 students, was also held on the occasion. 
Students arrived in the campus since early in the morning to cast their votes. Speaking to Impact News, students traced the need to put an end to all stereotyped activities carried out during the university election. ดิยามโตเห็นตัวว่าทงเนี่ยตัวบุยวาสเลยเตบะตักเจตะเชงนมะมังใจกะยิงนอเรดิยามกัลเลบะกว่าบอเจอันโดมอยกีนิยมจุ
as part of the security measures. In fact, West Commando teamed under the supervision of the additional SP operation of the Infalt West Police, TH Chris Natombi carried out cordon and search operation from Wahing Lekai to Baigo Hotel, Jiribam Parking and Maharani Bridge areas from 7.15 to 8.15 this morning. 515 individuals were verified and 24 individuals without proper identification proofs were handed over to City Police Station for further verification. Infault East Commando teamed under the supervision of the additional SP operation. Infault East Police also carried out cordon and search operation today. The team comprising of Purampat Police Station, Narcotic and Civil Commando personnel and women personnel verified 1,055 individuals, including 382 individuals during the combing operation, held from Hatagolabati to KR Land Strait from 5 to 7.15 this morning. 68 individuals, including 8 women, were apprehended for lack of proper identification proofs. The arrested persons were handed over to Porompat Police Station for further verification. A joint team of Commando Thawbalt and Thawbalt Police Station, including women personnel led by OC Commando, Thawbalt under the supervision of ASP Ops Thawbalt, Sachin Dananda Soibam conducted cordon and search operation at Kangabok Kolakpam Lekai from 5 to 7.05 this morning. A member of KCP W. PWG identified as Ning Thauzamt Amarzit Elias Pictru, 25 years son of N. Borozout from Kangabok Kolakpam Lekai, who was arrested during the operation. One mobile phone was recovered from his house. Amarzit confessed to have joined KCP w PWG in November 2018 through one party and collected money from school in Thobal area. Forty-third Assam Rifles personnel have tightened security in the indo member border ahead of 17th Republic Day celebrations. Assam Rifle personnel are maintaining strict visual day and night at border pillar number 79 till pillar number 80. Frisking operations were carried out at indo member Friendship Gate number 2 Namfalong Market today. ID proofs were checked from passerby and imported goods from Myanmar were monitored using met metal detector, x-ray machines and by sniffer dogs. Combined security patrol teams of Mori Police Commando and Assam Rifles are keeping strict visits in Mori Town. A team of anti-smuggling unit custom division in fault sees contraband drugs worth around 5 lakh rupees in the international market near MBC Church in Chingmeirong last night around 7. Acting on a tip of the team led by Superintendent of the Infault Custom Division Anti-Smuggling Unit seized 50,000 WY tablets from Wan Lan Ming Tanga, 42 years, son of Lat Lan Piang Liana from Jovent Jehang Plamka of Georgiampo District. The seized WY tablets were produced before the media in the office of Assistant Commissioner Custom Division Infault at Sangakpum this morning. A case was registered against the culprit during under Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act NDPS and investigation are underway to apprehend other involved in the case. Free LPG connections were distributed to 344 beneficiaries of Pradhan Mantri Uzwala Yuzna in Moirang constituency today. MLA Office Moirang and Maibia Gas Agency jointly organized the distribution at Thamnapokpi Bazar Community Hall. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Moirang P. Sarachandra assured that benefits of the scheme will be provided to all APL, BPL and food security women cardholders of the constituency within this month. One day outreach program on a youth man barrett was organized by Field Outreach Bureau, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting at SECMI today. A quiz competition was held as part of the program and winners were felicitated on the occasion.
One day training program for doctors and nurses for various district hospitals was held at Sky Hospital Dreams Road today. Sky Hospital and Research Center and State Health Society NHM jointly organized a training session which focused on the significance of the ICCU skilled and ECG. Speaking on the sidelines, Principal Secretary of the State Health and Family Welfare Department, V. Vulbul Monk said, Public-Private Partnership PPP Model Healthcare System is the need for the hour. He said government health insurance facilities will be provided in both government and private hospitals in near future. The PPP model in healthcare is now the uh, way forward. We have the health insurance schemes where the patient now uh, under the state scheme, 2 lakh rupees of treatment, they are able to get benefits under the PMJY, 5 lakh worth, rupees worth of treatment they are able to take uh, from the either private hospital or government hospital. Now the sports news. Naraka FC Sangakpam will lock horns with Klaas Hakaino in the final match of the 12th Manipur State League. In the semi-final match of the league played at Kumandla Bakhtarov ground today, Klaas Hakaino defeated Trau FC Kwakaitil 2-1. Players of the winning team, Kangam Horam and Jerry Bulamte, scored one goal each at the 42nd and 64th minutes of the match, respectively. The lone goal of the losing team was scored by Prince Wilt Imeka at the first minute. Twelve football teams are participating in the State League, while eight football clubs are participating in the knockout stage of the State League, organized by All Manipur Football Association and sponsored by Kumukchamp Ingoja Memorial Trust at Imphal Polo Ground and Kumantlampak Turf Ground. General Secretary of Manipur Sambo Association, I. Dines Maite, in a press release informed that there will be selection trial for the first National Beach Sambo Championship 2019 come opening of the first state level Sambo Championship 2019 organized by Manipur Sambo Association at Ullauma Manglekai Community Hall in Bisnupur District on January 27. Interested candidates of judo, wrestling, belt wrestling, kickboxing, karate, kung fu and other martial arts including sambo are requested to inform the general secretary of the association before 9 a.m. of January 27. Both the two league matches of the second S. Mani Sarama 3rd Division Football League were drawn today. In the fourth league match played at Pamyan Playground in Patsway Part 2, SFC Terra Kurai Zamp Lairak's player Jasobanta scored a goal in the 60th minute and NISC Lairin Jump player Sushil also scored a goal in the 68th minute resulting 1-1 draw. In the second match, MSC Malom's Jangming Glut scored a goal in the 13th minute and Juvenile Club Terra Sapam Lairak player Floral also scored one goal in the 18th minute resulting in 1-1 draw. Twelve teams divided into two groups are competing in the football tournament under the aegis of the Infal West District Football Association. Two subsequent matches will be played on January 27. Manipur Weightlifting Association Infal in a press release informed that names of the officials and athletes selected for participating in the 71st Men and 34th Women Senior National Weightlifting Championship 2008 and 19 are pasted on the notice board of MWA office. The championship will be held at Vishakapatnam in Andhra Pradesh from February 21 to 28. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Five civil society organizations boycott 73 Republic Day celebration against drive of BJP government to pass CAB 2016 in Parliament. TTC claims hidden agenda to rob drivers behind construction of a way bridge on Infal Jiri Road urges Chief Minister and Biren to intervene and take action. Senapati District Drivers Welfare Union strongly condemns Hitowu's Way Bridge project in Jiribam and Sekmai as harassment for drivers.